Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about what the difference is between a taper machining and four axis machining. Although they may sound the same, uh, they're actually different. So the difference between taper machining, taper machining moves off of a 2D shape. So let's say we have a 2D circle, okay? If we wanted a constant taper all the way around that program, we would add in a couple lines, uh, a couple items into our G-code, uh, the angle itself that we want to machine, uh, G41 or G42, which is our radius compensation, that should already be there. So then we use G51 or G52. This tells us if we want to tip to the left or tip to the right. So uh, G51, G52, our T taper angle value. 2D program, activate it, that on the same line as the G41, G42. Taper comes on, then we just do our 2D movements. At the very end, when we're canceling our radius compensation, G40, we do G50 to cancel the taper and take our T value back to zero. That's a taper program. Four axis program is different. Four axis, you're actually telling the machine what each axis is moving. So rather than just a 2D X, Y movement, you're telling the machine X position, Y position, U position, and B position. So X, Y on bottom and UV on top, you're telling it X, Y, and UV, all of those movements specifically. So typically most customers are fine with a constant radius all the way around. So they're using a standard taper program. Uh, other customers, maybe who have a different shape, top and bottom, they will use four axis, where you're actually programming two independent shapes, top and bottom. So that's the difference between taper and four axis.